Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Welcome, Kalfisha. Let's chat a little bit. So, previously on Wild Arms 2, we broke the game. <laughs> the question is, how badly did we break the game? So we're gonna we're gonna look to see the damage we did to the playthrough. Let's go ahead and pause the music. Welcome in Parameter, hope you're doing well. I just noticed I have to fix the wild arms thing later. That's fine. I don't have to do that right this instant. Okay, so we were being attacked. And we know we're about to get into a boss fight. So there's some characters that are going to have to play legitimate, and then uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to see what happens after that. If they take away that other character, that will make me so sad. If they take away that character, the game would be balanced. Then I'll be like, oh, okay. Stupid intro video. Why does it play every time, chat? <laughs> Who told them this was a good idea? I'm gonna make sure that I have some stats on me. Hmm. See if speeding them up does anything. Do something like this. Bonk. So I'll revoice the cutscenes since it's been a session. We captured the invaders. A man and a woman. They are the enemies. Where should we begin our fun? They aren't fools. They'll be coming any second. I'll search for the pillar boy. You handle everyone else. Judeka. What? Don't kill too many. I hate needless killing. I know, I know. Just confuse them. We're after the pillar boy. Remember, just confuse him. Something's happened. I'm starting to doubt the safety of the ship. In my humble opinion, we've stumbled into a war zone. About to stumble into us. What is that? Can't believe we're in this mess. In my humble opinion, I wish I hadn't come. They're after Hello's power. Let's hurry. <laughs> now it makes sense why they're after his power, right, chat? On orders of Lord Vinsfeld, we shall take the Pillar Boy. Okay, now let's actually see what this boss fight is about. We're all caught up again. Special Cocktail Squad member Antonora. You watch the VOD, yeah. We're, we're gonna see what we did to it in a moment. Oh, the party order is all weird. I should have checked that. Then you never thought your home base would be attacked. We found this place easily by tracing Alfael's lingering brilliant energy readings. Which means that all that nonsense with Plotomia wasn't useless after all. Unfortunately, my main melee character is in the back row for some reason. Whatever. Just build meter. I forgot, which character has the steel move? Do any of them have it? No, it's on the other character. Unfortunate. Uh, nah, let's get some initial meter. This should be fine. And we'll start with Granite Knight, see if it does any damage. Welcome, Murphy.
Although honestly, I don't think I'm gonna bother stealing in this game unless I think it's like an uber rare enemy. Where it's at the end of the game. I guess the only other thing I might steal from would be the, uh, if there's a floating book, because we know the Necronomicon exists, or presumably will exist in this game. I think those would be the only times I actively try to steal anything. So far, I don't have a reason to not do this. The next turn, I'm going to set up for some big damage. Assuming she even lasts that long. Yeah, this is just free bonus damage against her. Of course it misses. Of course. I'm trying to save some meter, but apparently not. Right, how much damage is Vicky 2 going to take? Not that much, but she did get poisoned, which is kind of annoying. I guess I'll go for the bolt action while I go for the lock on and the bazooka. We're gonna have her heal herself and see how we do from here. But she should be in kill range if I don't do that. Okay, I did almost a thousand. This should be doing well over a thousand. Would have been nice to hit last turn, but you know, whatever. Let's go for the risky bazooka here. Why can she not combine? Is it 50 meter? Is there something else I need to know about this? Why can't she combine? Hello? He has... Oh, maybe because I don't have Tim it won't work? So it did say Puka. That's... That's kind of dumb, to be honest with you. Whatever. We'll kill them with Dango. Get Dangoed. Feel the suffering of no parasitic gene flow. No purple action has not missed yet, which is good. So it does more damage than our normal attack. Hope the battle's over. Ashley achieved level 20. I can't buy any more time. Can you imagine if I have to 1v1 with the other character? It's so over for whatever I fight. This is enough fun for now. Judeka should have the pillar boy by now. My job is done. I said wait! First we have to save hello. I have to die it seems. If I don't die, there's no point to having lived anyway. Proof that I was ever here will only come if I'm gone. Dot, 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 dot. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Butts says no. Butts? I want to protect you. You and everyone else. I want to run away. I want to run away from it all. I want to protect you so that you aren't scared ever again. The only thing I could do to help you is... I just realized you could bring a lane with you and slime dupe during TTF. You could have a foam bar to unseal it. Uh, that's still really slow. Is what? What can you do? It's obvious, isn't it? Run. You could do that, right, hello? Hello, Starf. What are you doing here? We wanted to fight with the dude and the others, too. But <laughs> with the dude? Okay. So we snuck on board, but that wasn't so smart, was it? In my humble opinion, I think we'll just hold you back. I mean, I guess slime duping is okay, but I don't know if I would do TTF for that quest. On like low difficulties. Or even high difficulties, honestly. But you could do something, right? With those powers of yours. Oh, Starf, I... Go fight with the dude and the others. Do it for us. No, 
for the young arms. I would say if there's a high slime density quest, I would agree with you. I just don't think TTF is that option. We're friends, so I'll give you my hand. You have to get up on your own, hello. Postarf, what should I do? Do what you want to. You want to do... Oh, if you do what you really want to, I'm sure you'll find a way to succeed. I'm going. Sock it to him. And give the dude a hand for us, too. Yeah, that just feels way too slow, though, Murphy. My humble opinion. Loa's now a force to be we reckoned with. I mean, it would be, what is it, 10,000 plus kills, and you're getting at most 20 slimes a run? It's not good. Don't be stupid. Hello was always like this. From the beginning, Hello was a force to be reckoned with. If he weren't, he would have never been in Young Arms in the first place. Yeah, I would say if there's like a very hard mode item you could hunt in caves. So that way you can actively do like a, a, a hunt while also slime duping. I think I would be more on board with that. Like if, th if there's like a 60 slime quest, for example, and then you turn that into 240 enemies by itself, that's not bad. There's, there's not a lot of like lower difficulty hunts I think you would do. Like it, it doesn't have to be on ultimate, but I'm just saying like kind of like how we're doing the, uh, what's it called? The hard mode hunts for deep hearts. Like, even doing a hunt like that, I think I'd prefer over just ultimate doing whatever. Judeka says, The Pillar Boy. Will you tell me where he is now? Or would you prefer pain? I'll never tell you. The Pillar exists to aid the world, not to be your plaything. Evil minded old man. W what was that? Uh, okay, he could just do that. Okay. Was that the blue dragon? Rudia, the guardian of Earth. Is that the pillar boy? You better get out of here now if you don't. If I don't, what? You'll have to face me. Don't get uppity on me now. You're the sacrifice, remember? Oh, we go oh, we're going into a fight? Oh, chat. Oh, no, chat. No. Run from me. It's a trap. Chat. No, it's a trap. <laughs> no. Special Cocktail Squad member Judeka. No. <laughs> run, Judeka, run. Oh, no. Hello, I'm about to smoke him indeed. I don't feel like playing games, brat. She'll play with the capture, but it looks like I'll have to punish you, too. Moving your ears wouldn't be too severe, I think. Resistance is futile. So we're at max health, so he is just absolutely about to get rocked. Let's see, is his weakness wind? Let's find out. How much damage are we gonna do, chat? Ooh! Damn. Double damage compared to the other character. literally did zero damage oh no run it's a trap you're only building me meter run don't use Douglas on me that's not gonna help you oh no he can't do damage with anything oh no levels are broken in this game well he's about to get dunked on wholeheartedly Oh, is he gonna give us level 50? Oh my gosh, should we just play solo hello the rest of the game? Oh, he's four meters shy. Whatever. Fine, I gotta do one more spell. Holy, this is over. Might as well dunk on him for the finish. Wow. Oh no, he got more XP? He doesn't need that. I can't believe you've already come so far. I mean, I mean, I guess in his defense, he was like, he was like a level 10-ish character, and now he's a god. He did come very far in about an hour. Hello, you're safe. Ashley, there's nothing you can do to help him. 
<laughs> He's the pillar. He will support this party. <laughs> Holy. Ashley. Just imagine, Chad. If he gets like 12 more levels of infinite AoE, it's over. He is such a head start on levels, it's insane. Now there are too many of them and only one of me. Change of strategy. The pillar cannot be captured, then destroy him. Lastodon, blow them all away. Blow up everything. And he stretches out of existence. This is Kate. A bomb has been detected in Valeria Chateau. The location is the catapult room. Catapult room? Should have known they would have used a bomb like that. Okay, everyone, let's go. You can come with us. You're part of the group. <laughs> More like you're the main protagonist. Please let me sub him in. Please let me sub him in. Oh, you're not letting me sub him in? Oh, there we go. Is that... It says explosive red thunder to Blastodon. That looked more like a uh, Venusaur. <laughs> How dare you! One right after another. Well, oh, actually, it looks more like Blastoise now. Sara says disposal of explosive materials is a very delicate operation. I'll do it after I take care of all of this. Please wait. The search for explosives found them at the same point as the monsters on the warship. It is likely that explosives have been implanted within the monsters' bodies. No, you're wrong. The monsters themselves are the bombs. But orange would be more accurate, true. There is no mistake. The scanner detects no metal objects within the monsters' bodies. Detected in the liquid secreted by the monsters is something like a very volatile explosive. In other words, the monsters are living bombs. See, he's even got, like, the shoulder cannons for the water cannon. Ashley says. So, they're like the monsters we found in the Withered Ruins. If we beat them, then we'll all go kaboom together. Right. Then again, that's what they intended from the start. What do you plan on doing? You can't do nothing, can you? Of course not. Section D-52 of the warship is equipped with the lever catapult. We'll use that to shoot them off. As always, you sure come up with the craziest ideas. I feel like that's like a laugh track moment. They sure don't look like they'll stay put on top of the catapult. Prepare for battle. First, tire the monster weapons out. After that, we'll capture them. Battle preparations. Is it okay to include attacks? There are two points to consider in treating this bomb as a weapon. First is the power of the explosion itself. The other is controlling the explosion. The better made the bomb, the less likely the explosion will be larger than expected. Okay, I'll give it a shot. But it's still dangerous. Delane, you need to take cover. Unfortunately, I have to refuse. I'm the chief. As long as you're fighting with us, I can't let you leave here. I believe in you all. That's why I want you to accomplish your marvelous plan. You believe in us? Roger. If someone believes in us, it means we'll perform even better than our efforts. Okay. Oh, you're not gonna let me swap out characters? And... Oh no, he's here. <laughs> I like that they got rid of the character I was gonna remove anyway. That's what we call convenient. Uh, I'll attack the other pouch. Hello can survive the explosion. I think we'll be fine. So we'll just cycle through elements. I'm gonna try water move next on him. Z is a bomb, I guess. I split the attacks in case I overkill one of them. Oh, nice critical. Gonna be a lot of free damage here. Oh, they're attacking hello. Chat, that's what we call big mistake. Oh, we took 89 damage. We're not completely invincible. find out, Chad. We're using Bubble Beam on him. Oh, he's resistant to water. Okay, that makes sense. He is a toad. I wasn't sure because he was a bomb if he'd count as fire type or not. So maybe he's weak to lightning then? 
Which I don't think we have on this character. I'll double check. I always forget what elements he has. Evil Quasar, there we go. As long as they don't silence me, I don't really care what he does here. Okay. Yeah, I only have wind and fire. I might not actually have his weakness. Unless he really is weak to fire. I mean, I guess I should probably try that. Uh, I'll just go for a normal attack here. Okay, right, so he is weak to fall. Wow, that did insane damage, chat. That did 2,900. That was over three times the damage of the other thing. Now we're punching him in his stupid face. I think we broke all the components. Poison bubble? I don't think this matters. Even if you poison me, it shouldn't matter. Yeah, take 745 a turn. That's fun. I mean, I guess I'll kill him, right? Sumiga just wants me to kill him. Shouldn't take too long with our damage output. Oh, I could have done the AoE fire attack. I missed a good opportunity there. I didn't see his meter until just now. But it should basically be over here. So yeah, he just completely out damages the other mage. It's kind of sad. So, Bashley's and Thesaurus's power combined don't equal the damage I deal when I hit weakness here. Now I can do Napalm hit. I guess I'll just try to kill the boss before it does anything else. If this kills it. Big damage time, chat. 4,000 damage! Holy! 4,500 4, XP. Thesaurus hit level 20. Nikki hit level 20. Two vitality apples achieved. He confirmed the lowering of the monster's weapons bio patterns. All soldiers evacuate. EM cage catapult stand by. That damage was something else. Start EM cage number one and two. Continue with number three and four. Yeah, it's good they get Reserve XP, because she's probably never coming back in the party, I'm be real with you. Keep going! All soldiers, evacuate the catapult. Shoot the target warship. Start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7. Blew it! Stop! Get away from the catapult! You believe, so it can't end like this! Zero count. Release the catapult. Ashley! We... Oh! Access! Walk on my own. Don't talk. Is that an order? Yes, it's an order. If you're worried about my body, you're barking up the wrong tree. But I want to fight alongside you. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. I don't know about that. Dot 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 indeed. I want to fight with you despite my body being in the shape. 
My desire to protect Vilgaia won't be surpassed by anyone. Spoken like a true villain, right, chat? Mm-hmm. Just nod your head and be like, mm-hmm. I'm able to fight. You already are. Thank you. It's so unlike you. Everyone, hurry up! This way! Over here! Under unconscious control. Does it mean it started stabilizing? Or is it running out of control? He thinks to himself. This is wonderful. Hello is the perfect pillar. With abilities as great as his, he will certainly be able to manifest the power of the Guardians. See, now him being like the pillar and focus of power makes sense. Chat, we're just trying to make his power canon. Please wait. No, I don't want to die. Hello. But I want to do something for Filgaia. I want to protect the people I love. That's why I want to fight. That's why I want to live. To fight. People say die, but I'm not so weak as to want to die. We are trying to include hello in arms. Do the people of Baskar have a problem with that? No, I think it's fine. It would be meaningless for the pillar to die before his time. The pillar doesn't give his life of his own volition. The power of the guardians won't be released. And that great power will be the salvation of all. If you truly want to protect that which you love, then lend us your strength. I don't want to die without being able to do anything. Begging you, lend us your power to protect that which needs protecting. In that case, come back with us to marry a Buell. The next battle awaits arms. Can I please just go back to town first? I don't want to die. I don't want anyone to die. So take care, Chief. And you too, Klutz. I'll be back. This is my home, right? Will you be able to forgive me, hello? My daughter, Sabrina, will your son ever be able to forgive me? And we go, nope. <laughs> Just leave, right, chat? Come on, please let me use the shop. Please stop putting me from plot point to plot point. I really want to make sure we have bullets for the next thing. And Maria Bull says, you've done well. I have done almost nothing. It is these fellows here who deserve the real credit, I believe. Yes, indeed. You have my gratitude, too. Come now. Relax, I say. You're all heroes. Your deeds exceed even my own. The king likes to jest. Don't be afraid to play along. Now then, let us discuss Sir Villain's proposal. Did you consider it, sire? I did. If Odessa means to wage war on a global scale, then we require the same capabilities. Therefore, sire, we... I know we must fight Odessa on a global scale, but arms is limited by many restrictions placed on its authority. To fight Odessa effectively, we must resolve the various issues between nations. Please, sire, I must say, we keep fighting Odessa the way we have been. They will gain the upper hand. I am aware of that. But your chief has given me a very good idea. He suggested that we hold another Filgaia summit. There, our Maria Buell, Silverland, and Guild Galah will gather to discuss what the three nations can do about the terrorist problem. After the incident in Silverland, even stubborn Guild Galad will have to attend. Sir Villain. 
Yes, sire. We need to we need a secure site at which to hold the summit. A gathering of the three nations' leaders would present an inviting target. Don't worry, sire. I know all the safest. Oh, I know the safest place in all Philgaia. And where would that be? Is it going to be the floating fortress? It's not on the ground. It's in the sky. I propose holding the 71st Philgaia Summit in the sky aboard Valeria Chateau. I see. It would be the first airborne summit. Yes, sire. But Dessa does have a rookesis. I think. But there's no way they could gain the advantage over us. And our most dependable troops will be awaiting aboard in case Odessa does attack. Yes, I see. I, I give you a new mission. In order to pro I, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I order arms to protect the 71st Filgaia Summit. An attack on the summit by Odessa is conceivable. The objective of this mission is to protect the leaders in the event of such an attack. That is all. And please restock. Gonna put me in another cutscene. Wild Arms 2. I get very uncomfortable when you put me in cutscenes and cutscenes. I don't know why they're all just pacing in the same rooms. The King is here. The Queen is here. The Glad Master is here. So, the Guild Galad Master does not think that. I won't have it. It's wrong. Wrong, I say. Impulsive, aren't we? Then again, you always were. Why are you so calm about it? Have you thought about what giving arms complete cross-border rights means? It means the strongest fighting force will have no limits. They could go anywhere. They're just terrorists with legal backing, which will make them even harder to dispose of. They are not terrorists. Their actions are just. We think it is erroneous to mistake the two. That just means they're fooling you. Aren't you mistaking good-naturedness for virtue? I don't think. Let us... Let us ask the Guild Galad Master, then. What steps do you intend to take against these? Each country must strengthen their armed forces. That's the only way. However strong the terrorists get, our ability to defend ourselves must be greater. Peace through superior strength. You are underestimating their fighting ability. You will not understand until you see it for yourself. They can only be so strong. With our skill, we at Guild Galad can easily bring them to their knees. You know the Treaty of Iscariot was to limit military power. We're faced with an emergency. Forget the treaty. Doesn't this Valeria Chateau itself violate the treaty? There are no arms aboard the Chateau. Just arms itself. Your ideas are dangerous. Such thoughts will not make me forget the kingdom engulfed in salt. Will you follow in Slayheim's footsteps? Why, you... We're in the middle of the summit. I'm sorry, but this is an emergency. There's a thermal energy source on the radar that may be the enemy aircraft. A Rekesis. 500 until impact. Is the enemy attacking? This is regrettable. Oh, what will you do? You just said you had no weapons on board. How will you face them? He expected Odessa to come during the summit. Why don't you take this opportunity to observe our close combat skills? Are you really not allowing me to restock my ammo? This is very rude. We're depending on you. Bashley, do your best. I can't believe you're all so calm. You know how much danger we're in. That is true. Belfall's also seen arms in action. Whining about it won't help the situation. Let's leave it to them, Guild Galad Master. All soldiers, first battle formations immediately. Now the ship will launch an ambush on the enemy's Gullwing class flying machine. Bashley, the SARS, Vicky 2, and Hello. We'll store in the plane's interior with the assault anchor. Our central goal is to completely silence the flying machine's battle capabilities. 
After the mission, return to the anchor quickly. After recovery, the mission will be complete. Currently our plane... The enemy's plane are flying at... 0800 southwest of Helmets. In other words, we're over the middle of the ocean. No need to worry for those below. We must destroy the enemy Gullwing class flying machine here and now. It's a perfect opportunity to destroy the enemy's power. We must win this battle over. Send the number six, number 16 assault anchor. Don't be late. Those that blow their chance don't live long on the field. Ashley's group is all aboard. Begin injecting the buffer gel. Direction confirmed. This is modification complete. All green here. Part of the enemy Gullwing class flying machine is fixed in the target's range. Trigger preparations complete. Good luck with the timing. The rest is up to you. Go give it your all. There we go, Chad. Deploy the drill. We're in the enemy ship for Rukius. Ouch, ouch, so rough. You guys all right? I'm okay, I think. Looks like I'm okay too. It's me. Sounds like everyone arrived safely. Is this what you call safe? If you could complain like that, you must be okay. Now for the next mission, you have two tasks. One is to silence the enemy flying machine, Verukius. The other is... For you all to safely escape out of there. Aside from the first task, I hope to manage the second. After you disrupt the plane's power functions, come back here promptly. Winding back the assault anchor will keep us or will help us retrieve you guys. In other words, we gotta ride this out on our return. Okay, okay. After completing the mission, return here and be sure to recover the anchor. From now on, I'll take the comfort of your ride into consideration. Over and out. Wall chant. I mean, I guess... I guess I could leave the party as is. Huh? Didn't I have something else that... Did I revert an item or something? I thought I had another item. Oh, it's on Bashley. Oh. Out of curiosity. Ooh, it does scale. Okay. I was looking for Mystic Word chat. I was like, I was like, I hope we didn't undo that. So yeah. Adding basically 10% of your stats. I think he's basically immune to magic now. I think that's what we call worth it, chat. His physical defense is 166, so he's the tankiest party member by far. We don't even have, like, good upgrades for him. Is Grudiev. And I could make him go faster if I want to. Give him Fangalon for now. Well, it doesn't really matter. No, I don't think it does. Um, so I guess I'll explore the ship a little bit. Oh. 
I apparently activated a console, so it said A, B, C, operating status, A, B, C is starting up. Can I do something with this? I guess when in doubt, kick it. Right, there we go. I thought we had to like lower the security terminal or something by activating the console, but apparently not. Just kick it. Well, let's officially save our broken save file, chat. <laughs> That's 17 level difference, chat. Jeez. So speaking of which, they didn't give me my ammo back, right? They were just jerks about it. Of course, they didn't give me my ammo back. It's so annoying. How many clips do I have out of curiosity? Only three. Not great. There's a door over here, so let me go this way first. Okay, so I can't go through the laser. Unless we can move this. Oh, that's right. We can move this. I was like, wait a minute. I remember they introduced that last session, the ability to pull blocks. I'm not used to thinking in that dimension. I'm too Zelda-oriented where you can only push forward. Operate the barrier. Operate the terminal switch. I'll do the barrier first. I don't know what that did. I mean, I guess I could turn it off for now. Turn the terminal switch on. I'm assuming that did something. We'll find out, I guess. Is the laser barrier gone? It is. Okay. So far, this is a pretty peaceful journey through this area. Oh, it's a push pull puzzle. do that come on don't do that to be game man i was trying to grab it and then he just pushed it like an idiot i just wanted this okay is there oh. I... that's why i don't like push pull <laughs> you've got to be kidding me why did he run at it instead of pushing it Yeah, because I can't push-pull without using run. That's so obnoxious. Stupid. It's like I understood the puzzle, but it was like between him not grabbing it and then him just instantly pushing it. <laughs> it felt terrible. Yes, there's a console over there. So I'll keep going for now. I don't know what my goal is. Is this my goal? Operate the crane? Sure. Okay. Well, we're solving puzzles, I guess. Question mark. Please enter the power code for power plant A. Oh no, I don't know what this is. Guess I could do 8675309. We'll do that, chat. Power code is incorrect. Entry has been denied. Well, I don't know where I'm supposed to get that, so this is awkward. I'm assuming something has to give it to me. Shamar. 
There was that platform over there I didn't do anything with. Do I have to go and do something with it? You know what, chat? I had a thought just now. Can you reset the encounter rate by giving this person a call? I'm not going to read his dialogue. I don't really care what he tells us. Find out. Alright, so now I can turn the lift switch on. Oh, okay, so I need to do that first. I think that worked. Wait a minute, can we just skip all encounters in this game? Operate terminal switch. No, we're gonna leave it on. Our code is TA2360. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have dropped down. I need to go this way. Wait a minute, Chad. We have we have a get out of encounter free. That worked. Uh oh. So every time I get one of these, I just call and then they stop fighting me. <laughs> okay. Right, Chad. Okay. I'm assuming. <laughs> I love it. Remembered our old code. Um. I believe it was T A two three six zero power code has been verified power plan a will be turned off oh no we still got an encounter that's unfortunate i was surprised apparently all right cool eyes are dark I dislike that people don't wake up when they're hit. Um, let's all water gun them to death. Yeah, this damage should be insane. Yeah, we're gonna one-shot everything for sure. Group no retreat. Oh, okay. Big berry acquired. Hey, I got another heal item. Not that I need it. The other character has the full heal. I guess that's one power plant thing down. Well, that was a convenient straight line. Door to the north. Do we have a door over here? We do. Let's go north now. We'll slowly go clockwise around everything. Okay. Just looking for the console switch. Oh, there's a door over here. Let's go here first. Nope. Oh, okay. That's sad. I went the wrong way. Go this way first. just busy work? Like, what's the point of this? Seriously? Right, chat? Like, really? Why? Why is this a puzzle? It, 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 there's not even, like, a strategy to it. Like, I could move them in any order and do anything that I want. Why even put this in the game? Honest question. It's one thing if there's like a set order in order to move them, like you have to move this one before this one or else you get locked out. This one is just... Push it onto the lift. Oh no, Chad, not not their best puzzle. Please grab the box. I'm assuming that's what it wants me to do. And it'll like overload and fall or something. Oops, my bad. I was on the wrong side briefly. Thought I could flip through there.
Let's put in some boxes, call it today, pretty much. Oh, come on. Come on, chat. This stuff, this stuff makes me so upset. Why is this in the game? Hate this. On the off chance that this resets it. Maybe it's something like there's like stages of it, so if I reset before I trigger an encounter, maybe it works that way. I do love that opening the menu also cancels combat. This is so obnoxious. Like, this is the level design I don't miss, chat. Like, this is literally just pick a path, and it's arbitrary where the hole is. Yeah, case in point. So stupid. I guess I gotta dodge something there. Dodge one thing. Come on. Seriously? I hate this level design chat, I'm not gonna lie. I'm okay with the game so far- and then it hides everything? Oh my gosh, come on. Really hate this level design. I think I'm allowed to be frustrated at this. It's just- it's just not fun, it just really isn't, chat. Let me guess, it's gonna randomly be like, oh, you went down, yup, of course, of course. Oh, you went, you tried, you tried being efficient with your movement. Stupid. This is so bad, chat. Oh, I didn't cancel the combat in time. Like, that's what they chose to do. Just want to be really clear. Like, that that was their choice. Could have done anything else for that. What is that indeed? I agree, Budana. What trash. Even like a good puzzle. Picket Path is so dumb. Not really like an inherent skill to it. Got some money at least. Speaking of which, how much money are we at again? 351,000? That sounds about right. I'm assuming I'm dodging something on the right side there, by the way. Oh, damn, I forgot. Of course. Of course. This room sucks. Look over here, then I gotta go on the left side. And I think I went to the middle here, and I- You've got to be kidding me, they put a hole in the corner. <sighs> this is so terrible. Hate this so much. This kind of stuff will make me stop playing Wild Arms and be real with you. I just don't find this fun or entertaining. I can't make it entertaining. It's too early. At least I'm in the same room this time. It's like precision-based movement with arbitrary memorization. It's not my favorite thing to do. Now I forget if it's left or right here, because we keep going backwards. Assuming it's something like this. And like, arbitrarily here. Like, what did that really add to the game? Honest question. Then I think I have to go hit that console, by the way, or else I won't know the power code. So I gotta do that again, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Because we didn't get a code still. Stupid.
Can I get out of here, chat? We're, we're maxing all of our weapons. I <laughs> want you to know. I'm gonna get revenge on this horrible... What? <laughs> well, hold on. Hold on, chat. I think we have to go back and clip that. How did I kick that from where I was standing? What? That had to, that is jank. That is actually jank. Holy. What a level design choice. <sighs> Did it too early again. So I'm trying to cut the corner. It's so annoying. It's like I knew it was there, but it was like... I'm just trying to go efficiently, so I went to do this. Just did it, like, one step too early. Alright, so I'm assuming a code is here that I need. Oh, this is where I have to enter the code? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wow. Of course. Uh, I mean, I'll go wherever this is. Seriously, it was just one room. TV 8180. Stupid. This level design sucks, chat. This is like... This, this might be the worst dungeon so far. This is just like really arbitrary busy work and then obnoxious pick a path. Like there was pick a path earlier in the game. I wasn't happy with it then, but it's it's more obnoxious now. Now I have to remember multiple rooms to pick a path and I need to remember a password. We're gonna test my memory. It was, it was TB. Is eight one zero or eight eight one eight zero? Stupid. Listen, Chad. We're able to take down like giant god demons, but like little little platforms will completely defeat our party. So stupid. Bonk. Alright, so I'm almost done with all this. I'm gonna go save, so and just in case something weird happens, I'm just gonna do a save here. We're gonna go finish the other one. I don't see how we access the rest of the ship based off the layout of this area. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. We're boarding the enemy ship, we were barely fighting anything, which is kind of funny. I see now dropping down. You? Oh, they stop low. They make life dungeon hard. Whole castle puzzle, pretty much. Like, is this really necessary? Why? I <laughs> just. Just honest questions I'm asking is we have to just kick those. Yup, you're making me slow down. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have to do that on the way back. Oh, come on. Please don't be another pick a path. Please don't. Right, chat? Like, I beg of you. Please don't be a pick a path. I don't trust this floor anymore. Alright, so I think what we have to do... This is like the closest thing we've had to a puzzle in a couple rooms. I will use Puka to bring the switch back up. Or bring the floor back up. Better not be on a timer or something stupid. Please enter the code. I don't think I got the code. Uh, 
was that on the other computer and I just missed the option? If so, that's my bad. I'm assuming it was on the other console. I gotta go back. I thought I only saw an option for the barrier, but it could have just been not seeing it properly as I was scratching my eyes at the time. Unfortunate. At least this is faster. Okay, it was there. TC6503. C650. I don't feel like writing this. That is sliding in chat. At least if the floor falls, it should have remained on the floor itself. Having to memorize two different rooms is very stupid. Alright, so it's T C six five zero three. to do? I was like, wait a minute, this can't be right. Oops. I got, hold on. I got confused because the camera. Um... Was, was there anything over there, or no? Let me check again real quick. I don't remember another path that we didn't take, but nothing's happening in terms of events. Okay, so there is nothing to do here. Whatever. Oh well, I guess I'll go back to the fork room. Hang on there, I can't just let you go on home. Oh, that's how they get around in the ship. Lotomia! Looks like you guys might have actually been worthy opponents for a change. Say you beat Judeca. Is this guy the real thing? Our justice will never submit to Odessa. Hmm. Justice. I don't know who came up with that, but... Justice can be found on any corner. Found a little in my heart. You said my justice and your justice. You guys did as you pleased to my favorite Verukiasis. Why, have, we have far too many reasons why our sword should cross, right? Here I go. You arm kids. Show me what your justice can do. Gun is the, s the fastest animation of the bunch. I definitely don't want to start with Rock. my last lock on bazooka ammo and continue forwards. I was thinking because he had like the dynamite move, maybe he was weak to water. Doesn't really matter. 
Wow, that did literally no damage. So he didn't scale up from the last time we fought him. So now. So far, Vault Action has yet to miss, which is kind of nice. Goodbye, my ammo. I like that they have to use, like, the, the force points to even compete with Hello's base damage. That, to me, is pretty funny. Do one more attack. Honestly, I could probably just make them defend. Maybe that would be faster. I figure we might as well just use some abilities since we got them. Yeah, it's probably not worth attacking with Bashley anymore. Let's we'll defend if the battle continues. Oh, leveled. Nice. Bashley levels. Yeah, I think the battle would have been over sooner if I just defended. There, I guess this is enough. What's going on? Evacuation of the Verukis' passengers is almost finished. You're not... you... you were buying time until all the passengers were off, weren't you? It's pretty tough having to handle soldiers. It's fond of the Verukis', but it's all perfect. Oh, but it's perfect to bury you all in. Stop! Well, Tomia! We need to plan our escape rather than chase it. Rukis, this looks like it's not going to last much longer. We finally had him silenced. One danger passes, only to have another danger surface. Did we really silence him? The plane crap. Yo, yeah, what's this whole idea of silencing him? I don't really understand that. The plane crashes. The Blair Chow Chow connected by the anchor will fall too. Oh, right. So then what are we supposed to do? Hmm. Got an idea. Gotta trust me with your lives. But what are... But what are we going to do? Hmm. First, we have to contact Villain at the Chow Chow. Me, Bashley. You did well. I see black smoke rising from the Verukisis. Yeah, but there's a slight problem. We're still inside the Verukisis. Release the anchor right away. If you don't release it now, the chateau will crash too. Hmm. Don't know where the Verukisis will crash. The ship could cause a major disaster if it crashes here. We must do something. are you going to do? And you abandoned the ship. All right for the cockpit. Luckily, we're all over the sea. Maybe I can belly land the Rukisis on the water. Are you sure you could do it? I'll give him my best shot. It's our only chance. Wait, if everybody's evacuating, can we just turn the power back on? You can do it. Land that baby and get your butt back here. By Chad, I'm like, wait a minute. Why don't we just... If they just abandon ship, don't we just have a new ship? We'll be okay, right? We'll be able to do something, right? This is where my real work starts. You know how to fly? The Gold Wing class flying machine, Verukisis, isn't a bad machine. This plane isn't a plane for terrorists. This plane is. Hang on, we're landing in water. Hey, hey, over here, over here! Hey, wave your hand too, hello. Go for it, boy. Wait, how close will this thing get? <laughs> right, chat? Wait a minute. Let's witness it getting closer. 
It would be funny if they forgot to stop it and it keeps going. It's one of those things that you just have to check. Look at it getting closer, chat. Oh, it did stop. You really saved me. Their energy? That may be it. I don't think those sentences made sense in conjunction with each other. Vicky2 and Hello go, we're over here! We've seen dumber things happen in cutscenes. <laughs> Did you see how flustered that old codger from Guild Galad was? <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates the threat posed by Odessa now. He learned his lesson. Yes, indeed. The, fr the attack by Odessa was frightening, but in the end, it might have been for the better. May I ask what that means? What do you mean? What do you mean, what does it mean? All present saw firsthand just how formidable the enemy was. After all, it takes a direct threat for people to get off their fat butts to act. We have not had good relations with Guild Galad. I worried they would be the biggest stumbling block at the summit. The attack lit a fire under their butts. They made more progress than I expected. They're still co unwilling to cooperate completely. But they did provide us with their hovercraft. Oh boy, chat. New transportation mode. Even if the summit gained only that, we should be satisfied. You were too hasty, and haste not only makes waste, take years off your life. Yes, sire. Very well. Now then, how will arms act next? Uruki Sis was destroyed, but Odessa is not defeated yet. Hmm. Let's track them down. With the hovercraft, we could search the entire inland sea area. Ah, so we should help put the hovercraft to immediate use. We'll look for the data tablets from the Rurukisis. A gullwing class ship like that should have three data tablets on board. Once recovered, the tablets will provide us with vital information about Odessa. Hovercraft is docked on the west coast. Counting on you, arms. Oh, I can finally leave. So we can rest easy tonight. The sea is big. Most of it ends up on the beach. There's a large beach in the North Inland Sea. Oh boy, Chad. Oh boy. We get to explore the overworld to progress the plot. Hmm. That's definitely one of my favorite things from Wild Arms 1. I definitely didn't dislike that the most in Wild Arms 1. Well, I guess it's gonna be time to just BS our way and find the items, I guess. More importantly, Chad, let's go restock our arms. To full power they shall go. There we go. Not the highest attack power ever, but at least I could use them out of combat, I guess. This should definitely be attack power. This one should also just be attack power. Full action's already so good, chat. This is definitely our boss killer. No question. Is that 80 attack power? Five bullets, though, but... All that matters is that you land them. Also, I just realized I drained almost all of our money in those upgrades. That's kind of crazy. But even though we doubled our money, we're actually almost out again. It's very silly. So sadly, it looks like we will have to money farm for other things. We can get three new spells, so I might as well as learn Murphy. We can also take... Brick Weapon. And I guess a Revive. I guess that works. Rip our money, by the way. But hey, we have some super weapons, so that's probably fine for now. 
Oh boy, chat. Personal skills. What do we even learn with this character? So he's HP up. I don't think I want most of these, to be honest. I think I want to give him physical defense after we increase his magic power. Yeah. Let's just make him immune, chat. What do you think? Just make him tanky. Sounds like we can't get more upgrades. Five points. Well, I could give him a physical attack power. That's probably good. Yeah, just across the board, you know, we're high HP, high crit. So she's at two points. I guess I'll give her physical defense up. Oh, she doesn't have enough. And then I should probably sleep at the end. Yeah, so I was gonna say, it probably didn't fix my stats. How much does the other character need to level? Only 5,000? That's not too much, actually. So it's very likely he'll continue to level. Yeah, we now have some super weapons, at least. My AoE with the other character is there, so maybe it'll be useful to one-shot. We sadly don't have a boss killer for Brad, because I leveled stuff incorrectly. Uh, but... Everybody else is going to be doing big damage. Excuse me, we renamed him Thesaurus. Um... Oh, I forgot to get teleport gems. Let me, let me get those before I forget about those. I don't want to be caught later without them. Bakery was here, the magic shop was there. Item shop was over here, right? At some point we need to get a weapon upgrade. So we have more than enough money for the weapon upgrades at least. Let's just get like, I don't know, like 21 of these. That feels fair. I probably want to upgrade armor just to become immortal, because I have money and nothing better to do. If we had more tight money, I would not buy armor upgrades. But since we're here, we might as well just become unkillable. Out of curiosity, does this let us go to the hovercraft? It does let us go to the hovercraft. Perfect. I'm not walking there. I saw it, but that doesn't mean I want to do anything. Google Ad has helped link the map scope to the hovercrafts on board terminal. High altitude satellite images can now be displayed on the map scope. Make it see all field on the monitor instead of just the surrounding area. To move the hovercraft, press forward, press up or the X button. To rotate, hit LR1. Push this party can board and disembark only at the shore. Embark from the hovercraft, touch the shore and press circle. To board the hovercraft, touch it and press X. Okay. I can't get through here. I don't really know what I'm looking for is the problem. Like, is it gonna show up in the overworld or something? What's on this little island? Are there any interesting fights? Yeah, tank controls can't really reverse, can only go forward. It's very awkward. I mean, I might as well just fight these. The odds of me being killed here are pretty low. Looks like a big boss. Oh, you're the Final Fantasy VI snail thing. That is a name. Aga Wogden? Feels like I'm trying to speak like Charlotte. Try Earth on it. Oh, I didn't restock my ammo. I gotta go fix that. I think I thought I was gonna add bullets and then change my mind and then realize I didn't do that. Goodbye tree thing. 
Emanate Cross, sure. Agua Woden, yeah, it does sound like Charlotte speak. We're fighting the Aqua Rat, indeed. I think Poison right off the bat kind of sucks, too. Sorry, hit level 21, nice. I think 3,000 Gela is pretty good. The tree on the back of the shell is a nice touch. I like it. Lots of flashing screen. Okay, so I can. I'm assuming I picked up a crest. I keep forgetting it automatically does it. I get to recover from this. Okay. So we're just gonna have to scan the waters repeatedly. This seems really annoying. Yay! This isn't tedious at all. Yeah. Don't you love searching randomly? Her health looking like I'm pretty good. something back here. Okay. That's where I would have put it. Poison goes away at some point, right? So I don't just have my screen flashing repeatedly and annoying me. Oh, you can get in encounters on the water. Oh. Uh, that's unfortunate. Guess I'll first aid him. He still hasn't cover from poison? This is crazy. Geysers being used against us. I'm assuming fire attack will just kill him. Enemy was not worth fighting. Did you see how bad that was? 150 XP, 300 Gela. We got 3,000 Gela and almost double that XP on the other fight. It's not worth it at all. Okay, this screen flashing is really bothering me. Can this please stop? I thought it would wear off at some point, but it's clearly not. Thanks, Poison. You're much more annoying in this game than you should be. Are you really gonna have me just scan the entire inner sea for this stupid item? A little beach here. Huh? Here lies the mouth of Lilicus River. Keep it clean, no littering. Wait, that wasn't even an. Uh, wasn't even a useful item. Brutal. What a waste of time. I guess it could be here somewhere, in theory. Wild Arms 2. Find your own plot. Vitality Apple required? No, I don't want that. I'm looking for the plot. Oh, like, have you seen the plot anywhere? I'm using the search function, but it can't be found. Though, I don't know where the tablets are. We were given a hint that they were near the beach, and we got one of them. What do you have to say about this? Maybe near the shore. Well, it's not up here. I would have thought a hidden area would have been here. 
come back here later. Maybe somebody has to tell us that there's something hidden here. I really dislike this search function thing. I like it in theory for finding hidden items. I don't like that locations have to be found this way. So I probably missed a dungeon or something here. I'll try to remember we didn't find anything over here. Fine, I'll get into an encounter. Happy game. What the heck are you? Oh, those are owl bears? I guess that makes sense. They're taking it almost very literally with the flapping owl wings on its back. Five forty gala, not worth it. Yeah, I didn't see anything. It's a little unfortunate. <laughs> of course it looks like a gorilla, of course. Everything's a gorilla. Yeah, I didn't find anything. Unless it's like here, and I just didn't see it. Like, dead center. Don't get me excited. No, it's just gonna be money that I don't want. Yeah, because it, it's like a differently car colored forest. I was thinking something would be here. Oh well. I don't see it if something's supposed to be here. There's another landing pad over there if I want for later. He was being very stubborn and not entering there. Oh, got the prison. Really want to go back there. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna keep exploring until the plot is eventually found. Unfortunately, it may take a while. Strap in, chat. You're in for a long haul, because I don't know where these are. I went to helmets. Bonk. Thing back here, so this was all just a big waste of time. Cool, <laughs> right? Chat, not worth the XP, not worth the money. Didn't find any items. I mean, I found a vitality apple, I guess. The waterfall, maybe something's around here. Oh, not even a dungeon. First time I'm able to access over here. Oh, there's a sign. Alright, what's here? Welcome travelers to the quarterly oasis located in the canyons of the northwest. Okay. Is there some kind of horrible sandworm thing that'll kill me if I stand in the sand dunes? We know that the other kingdom should be here in theory somewhere, by the way. I should probably get into a fight here. Just to see what the enemies are like. Again, we have a very high level character. I'm not feeling super threatened. You are very goofy. Let's Sonic Claw this. That's a crab? Japan, we need to have a conversation. I'm just like. Like, it has pincers, yes, but. <laughs> I don't think that's a crab. 
something tells me, chat. Just not quite right. So they're strong against wind, but he's still killed anyway. Ooh, critical attack is huge here. Possibly saves us a lot of time. Nice. Money's not worth it? Cool. XP's also kind of bad. Ah, uh, yes. Crabs are notorious for no notoriously known for their spiked ball tails. Okay, what's this? No. I don't even know what I picked. See, that's the problem. I don't even know what I picked up. I hate that that automatically closes it. I don't even know how to check to see what that was. I picked something up. It could be any- it could literally be anything. I don't see any new accessories here. Um, I've had a duplicator for a while. Could be a strength apple in theory? Don't think it's a vitality apple. Oh, I have no idea what I picked up. And again, that's a side effect of that being the only time you don't press something in order to acquire it. But the different color of the background tells me I could probably get closer to the real place. The real kingdom's probably like here-ish? A little more to the right, I think. Hope you're doing well, Dango. How broken is hello? Extraordinarily broken. Oh, you know what I was just thinking, chat? What happens if we go back to the mining town now? <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> De Deleted on that enemy. That poor enemy took so much damage. Holy. I wonder if he outspeeds the cockroach things. Does chat remember the name of the mining town? It wasn't Helmets, was it? I thought it was a different town. Oh, was an item over here. Okay, I found a duplicator. That's good. Goes for later. Combat encounters, please. I'm trying to exploit the desert. What the heck are you? A weird ant thing? Ant lion. I mean, that's not what ant lions look like, but they, uh, they're they're close. They got the ant part right. <laughs> the other things, uh, questionable. Yeah, we're just kind of dunking on them, Dango. The damage of this character is insane. Like the characters critting here do half of his damage. Give you an idea of the damage difference so far. So yeah, I really want to avoid encounters if I can, because they just seem to be a waste of time at this point. I don't need to power level. If I'm going to power level, it's going to be in the mine area. We could definitely break the game there. Where does it get most yellow? Like here-ish? I feel like it should be around here somewhere, right? Bullet load acquired, okay. Huh. Less than 3k experience. So he was- okay, let's see what the- I think I still have the notes for who won. Double check now that Dango's here. That was guessing 4,200 hell, 4,500 hell. Sadly, he only had 2,981, so I owe Chris some points for HP. Chris win. Alright, this encounter rate is really stupid. Can you please not do that?
think the call kind of works, but there's probably a little trick to it. Ah, uh, the infamous cliff. Of course. And I can't get it. Of course. What a tease. So, I still don't know where the game wants me to go, by the way. We did this big exploration. I've made no progress. I found one tablet this entire time. I was surprised. Am I really surprised, though? Am I? Like, go ahead, hit hello. It doesn't even matter. Can you even hurt him? Oh no, you did 51. You got me. Meanwhile, the other characters just dodge. That's embarrassing. Bubbled. Yeah, if we hit enemy weakness, it's just basically ultra over. to go here, but there's nothing to do here, which is disappointing. I would have at least put an item over here. Okay, good. I was gonna say. Resistance apple. Uh, right, chat? Counter rate is so high here. Let's like, explore the edge here. I don't think I did this. Okay, cool. We basically got a, a duplicator was worth it. That's a rare example of us getting an item that's useful. But that doesn't answer the question of where, where do we have to go next. So I was here, then nothing happened. So was there another path that I could have taken? So all that was just for a duplicator, essentially. We found this, but then there's nothing we could do here, so I don't really understand the purpose of that. We're basically just looking for beaches. Promising. Tablet 3 acquired, okay. Is this a dungeon? Thunder Lion Cage. Okay. Album coupon acquired. Coupon for the monster album. I guess that makes sense. Just found a random bonus dungeon. Oh boy, there's a lot of... Oh no. <laughs> I guess we're committing in a path, chat. Okay. Being closed by magic? How do I open this? Huh. I pick it? We have to unseal it with something in the dungeon. I don't think we've ever had that before. That's the choir. Uh, maybe I have to undo the magic here. Little thing in the center. There's a door. Strange contraptions keeping it closed. Okay. I don't want to run here, because if I fall off, I go back to the beginning. There are random encounters here. Okay, what's in here? Lots of healing, apparently. I think I really need that with this party. I think 
think we're good, right, Chad? I don't think we need to be healed anymore. I think we're fine. Oh, that was such a good diagonal. Okay, let's see what's actually here. This is... Thunder Drake. I'm gonna rock him in the face. Let's see what happens. actually survived, regardless of what we chose. And the XP and money is terrible. Thanks, game. So, okay, so... Let me make a note. So, Thunder... Thunder Lion Cage. Chest... Locked by magic. Need new party member. Flash to question mark. We noted this. West inner sea. Because I'm not gonna remember where it is. Even reading this, I probably won't remember where that is. Oh well. Some kind of lever. Can't do anything with this yet, so we're gonna go down the other passageway, I guess. Maybe when it's all the way up, I could do something. Presumably, we're gonna get a medium here. That'll allow us to learn even more broken spells with our current group. There we go, we've gone through that. Do I just kick it? <laughs> what all you want me to do to open the door, presumably? Hmm. That doesn't do anything, so we tried fire. Oh, it's not like a knife, right? It's a knife. I mean, you would think kicking it would also activate the switch, but whatever. Right, chat? <laughs> whatever. Hello. I am Noah Shax, the Guardian of Lightning. Make someone so frail work. Our demands are cruel. Shocks acquired. Oh well, I'll ignore my pains for this beautiful golden maid. Watch until your heart's content. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we might as well learn new spells. Whatever that meant. Wow, that response time is insane. Holy. Hello, Zoa's going first, chat. Spoilers. Well, the odds of him killing an enemy are basically 100%. Let's see what new spell he can learn. Lightning. Plasma Tan. Are we sure nothing else was in here? It feels kind of weird if this was just a healing room. Double check I didn't miss anything in here. I feel like we haven't had a chance to use the duplicator for anything, so I might as well just look around and make sure I'm not missing like a door or something because of the camera angle. 
from there. Well, I guess I can see if the duplicator opens that, actually. Maybe it does? I didn't think about that until just now. Maybe? Uh... Never mind. Uh, no, don't need that. So we only get a single item per duplicator. That's kind of rude, honestly. Okay. We got everything else covered. I guess we'll leave. We still haven't found the other tablets. <laughs> Moral of the story. We haven't made plot progress still. But we, we got another ability to get lightning, which covers more elements on our character, which is pretty good. Because if we, if we hit boss weakness, it's basically over. Still need to find one more tablet. Not allowed to go down to the icy area down there, sadly. Let's explore the northern side in case there was a beach here or something that I missed. It looks like there is a beach over here. That's promising. Might be the last thing that I need. Alright, so we acquired them all. All of them have re now re been recovered. Contact Villain for next instructions. Oh, that's fine. Recovery is successful. Use communicator to make contact. Oh, are you really not going to let me disembark? Seriously? This is Bashley. All data tablets recovered. Requesting further orders. Good job. Now return to Mary of Buell Castle immediately. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> right, chat? No thanks. He tried. I'm like, listen, I'm here. I want to explore. Don't you tell me what to do, game. I needed you to tell me what to do when I needed the tablets, and you abandoned me. Well, that's it. Okay, we'll get into a couple fights here just to see what the difficulty level of this area is. And we'll move on. What the heck are you? Our bumbles. Bio-laser? <laughs> it's not a move I thought they would be using, but sure. Money was decent, XP was okay. Alright, chat, hold on a second. Let's, let's go break the game further. I think we're good, but what if more broken? I guess the question is how much do I want? Well, maybe I can hold off. I'm thinking from the standpoint of what I want to do is one of these places had the ridiculous mining town. Is it Holst? I could end up getting a lot of money by killing the mining creatures. The problem is we still have two characters we haven't acquired, but what are the odds that they're going to be better than the two characters we're already using alongside the pillar, aka the god? Because I feel like every time you have a character that can upgrade their weapons, they tend to be better than every other character. Guess I'll go here briefly. I guess we can also see if I could one-shot these or outspeed. That's mostly what I'm interested in. I think it was Holst. No one will compare to Hello? I think so. But funny enough that they use his level, I think I'm kind of okay with it. They'll be better than Vicky 2, probably. Vicky 2, no AoE, big disappointment. 
So I just want to see, with our ridiculous speed up, do we outspeed the enemy approach things? Because before they were way outspeeding us, but we have a character that has like 50 points higher than he should have. So I, I just want to do a test here. Let's see. Guess I can wind attack him. So he still outspeeds. That's pretty crazy. Let's see how much damage we do here. Alright, uh, so he one shots for sure. Hello, achieve level 38. Chat, worth it. <laughs> right, chat? Worth. Alright, we'll do one more fight there. We don't get a lot of money from this, sadly. So if he hits, like, level 50, I could just give myself, like, 5k a kill. Oh, he needs 26,000 a level? That's kind of horrendously terrible. We'll do one more to get a uh, Bashley level. Fun. And if we don't get it in this encounter, it's fine. We'll also move on. I just wanted to see if we outspeed yet with the super speed brood, and the answer's no. So if they don't run away, we legitimately one-shot. Oh, you're trying to hit hello? Good luck with that. Say goodbye. <laughs> you know it's banned when the mage takes zero damage and also dodges them. Oh look, Chad, I could do Tempest on this enemy for no reason. This damage should be really dumb. Goodbye. I guess at some point I should get FP minus one. Just in case there's a... Uh... I, I guess like a move that costs like 90 or 100 and I get high level. I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Getting early access to AoE is pretty stupid. I don't think it'll make his force move cost less, but it's worth experimenting on him. I got nothing better to do once he gets the defense ups. Okay, I saw what I wanted to see. What's our status like? Normal, best, normal. Our luck is the worst, that sounds about right. I think my luck totals are fine. I don't need everybody to- I just don't want them to be bad or worst. The person that does have worse is not in the party. Okay. We got enough time to at least do a little more plot. I'm hoping at some point we get the boss symbol. We also have to go back to the first prison, which I don't know how we reach. I think I've seen it. I don't remember 100% where it is on the world map, but I know it is just kind of in the ocean somewhere. We have a duplicator left. We have 10 super heals, a lot of junk heals. Let's go to the chateau. Or actually, I think they said to go to Maria. Yeah, I think they want us to go back to the Maria. I had to think about that. I'm like, they told us to go to one of these two locations. I think this was correct. I only half listened. to get that dash in chat. We now have all three data tablets. How can we get the information from them? The tablet's protective encryption is very difficult to break. I want to take them to the Selge region for analysis. Vicky gulps. Or Selji? I don't know how to say that. Seals? I don't know. It's a combination of letters, chat. Technology will be able to open the tablets. The problem is getting to there. We can't take Valyria Chateau because there are no landing pads. Hmm. Yes, there are no overland or sea routes to Selge. Wait. Icky too, aren't you from there originally? Yeah. Came here using a teleport gem. Didn't quite work, though. 
Can't we analyze the tablet some other way without going there? Wait a moment. Somewhere near Damson City is a tunnel for transporting coal to there, isn't there? Go to Damson City and ask the miners there. They speak brusquely. Brusquely? I think it's brusquely. It's been a while since I've seen that word used in context. But deep down, they are warm hearted. I'm sure, they will help you. Well, let us go look for the tunnel, shall we? Says yikes. I give you a new mission. Arms, make haste to Demson City and from there to the new region. Get any information on Odessa you can from the tablets. I'm counting on you. Well, I believe we've been there before, so let's teleport to Damson rather than walk. See, this is why we bought the teleport gems, Chad. If you had any question why, if I can skip overworld travel, I'm like, please let me do so. I don't care about it. I'm not into open worlds. I just want to go to the plot, Chad. Um... Okay. Go to Gunner's Heaven. I thought it was exported straight from the mines. Airport. Airplane plane on the peak was built as export facility. Lucas says, now you're looking more like a man. Long way to go until you become an expert like me. I don't even remember who Luca is, to be honest with you. But there's lots of floats of jetsam that settles on the beaches of the Inland Sea. Not only near the center of the Inland Sea, that also has floats of jetsam on it, I hear. Get to the Selge region from here. Mount Chug Chug's underground tunnel is the best bet. Think of Mary of Bull really said that. He really did. Yes. He dot dot dots. Mount Chug Chug is dead now. We all thought the king had abandoned us. But he still remembers us. Glad we could be of use again. Especially like this. The Dems and City Miners will do anything to help you. We'll fight together. First we'll have to free the tunnel. Bring this. Proof the King of Maria, Buell, that I'm the top man at Mount Chug Chug. Boss symbol acquired? Ooh, okay. So, let's take a detour. We're gonna go forget about him, even though he's very excited we remember him. So... Alright, so I, I wrote down... A few locations. So we have to go to Mount Chug Chug eventually. We could go to the second prison, which is... And also helmets, because both of them are next to each other, from what I remember. Let's go there and see how hard this is. And then Holtz in the mine somewhere had a boss symbol. And then the Wind Tiger Den, which I wrote is northwest-ish from Chateau. Which is good, because I did not remember that. <laughs> Welcome, RJ Chaos. Listen, Chad, this is why we take notes. Yeah, the boss symbol was in the upper right-hand corner. So are these, like, actually really hard bosses, or are they kind of, like, average? Am I gonna just get absolutely god-stomped into oblivion? <laughs> I mean, I'm bringing my strongest party members. We even took an extra level up, so I believe it was in the upper right corner. Boss symbol... Is it a usable item? Feel the menace of a monster's hell. So, how do I? Can't, I can't use it. Wait, I thought this. But they told us before this is how you use it. Is there something you have to do to make this work? makes a little poop, like, poop poop sound when I go to use it. Huh. Does it not work here? Does this mean this town is gonna get destroyed later so I could do something with it? Did, did they accidentally- oh. Went through the back entrance. Huh. Okay. 
I'm just gonna write can't use it for some reason. Can't use for some reason. Question mark. Well, we should be near the prison. But the other prison definitely had a boss symbol. I'm just gonna go do that now if we can. They didn't say I needed any other item. I actually thought it was gonna be a tool versus a consumable. A little bit of a question mark there, but that's fine. Prison should be over there, because I wrote it was the second prison, not the first prison that had it. Let's go explore the prison. I don't remember where it is in the second prison. The mines, I remember it was kind of deepish. Mount Chug Chug, it was near the beginning, I think. Oh, we can't go back in here. That's... That's unfortunate. How do we... Oh, there's another door. Oh, no, there's the ball symbol. Hmm. Let's see if it'll work. That's disappointing. Well, I was excited to explore. But apparently it doesn't work, or there's something else I need to do with it. weird that it doesn't seem to work in general. So, do I even feel it? I mean, I guess I could check one more location just to see if it does anything. Let's go back to Valeria Chateau. Oh, that was the place where we had to fly to go to it. I just remembered, actually. I think this is the other prison, but I don't think we could go back here yet. We could get another item there. Volcano. Yeah, there's the hole. That might be what I was thinking of. Like, Tiger Den or whatever it was called. Or Wind Tiger. This land, thank you. The game, please, don't be finicky with me. I already can't reverse, so it's like pretty easy to overcommit on the directions there. If it could only be used in one place, I'm gonna be very disappointed. It doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. So I did remember that it was here, just we can't do anything with it. Is there some kind of like level lock with it? Is it like story lock? Do I have to be told that's how it works in order for it to work? Wouldn't put it past this game. I mean, I don't get what the point of telling me that that needs the boss symbol is if I can't use it. If there's some other restriction, they probably should have just told me. I feel a little annoyed by that, but not much I could do about that. Alright, so where was Mount Chug Chug? I guess it was near the place I just left. So I guess I could go back to Damson for it. At this rate, I might as well just buy more teleport gems. Next time we're at a major city, I think I'll go get them. We have the other place here. I guess I could see if the coupon thing does anything. Gotta get our kaiju cards, chat. Hey, here's the deal. I'll exchange this for an album where you can see monster cards anywhere. Menu will say album, select it, and pick up card you want to see. Convenient, huh? 
Looks like seasoned veterans. Here you can use, see all the cards, and monsters, things you destroyed. Did he actually give it us that, or did he just like mess with us? Yeah, see the Agawana's level 43. This thing was actually worth killing. Nothing else was, sadly. Yeah, look, look, see that thing is worth more money than the bosses we fought already. It's kind of silly. Interpretations of some of these mon- What the heck is that? We live on in our hearts. Oh, hello. Blue book. I guess I could see what items I missed from these enemies. Like, not much. So we haven't missed out yet, it seems. Unless I wanted Boomerang or Chakram, I guess. In. Take a look at the end. So I think I just exchanged the coupon to the ability to see the Bissiri anywhere. Actually, probably just go back to this character. This character's OP. Mount Chug Chug is the question. That is the problem with taking breaks. I feel like it was here. I feel like it was a cave. Which I thought was weird because it was like, this doesn't really strike me as a mountain, but I guess it is. It's definitely not like the tallest mountain in the area, which kind of throws me off. And now can I do anything? of this is. that door, but that doesn't open these. Okay, so they're not related, I guess. Unless we can upgrade the boss symbol later. Disappointing. Mm, I don't think we really need healing. Right, chat? Something tells me. I think we're fine. by 3D. Alright, so there's a lot of flame pillars, but what does it want us to do with them? We're over there. There's one blocking that area. I'm gonna calmly walk to the exit. Okay, I found a red item. Freeze Rod acquired. Freeze Rod is freeze by Vicky. You press square, magic will turn to a bolt that can be fired. Distinguish purple frames and freeze certain objects. Well, I guess that answers that question. This might be the only time we see Vicky 2 again, chat. Be real with you. <laughs> like, cameo appearance from Vicky 2. I don't know if there's a time limit to doing this. There is a door here. Let's go through here first. Another red chest. Dead or alive acquired. Dead or alive is a bayonet cartridge for Bashley. Its use as an item provides new ammunition for the bayonet. It'll definitely deliver an the enemy an instant death attack. Mastered arm, dead or alive. Okay. Possible instant death single attack. I mean, I like bolt action so far. I guess we'll see how good Dead or Alive is later. Let's see if this turned off the flames. So they relit. 
by this area. Making me nervous with this 3D movement. Uh, of course. When you when you make the lights turn off, it makes them disappear. Okay, so we got a big barrel. I think I can use the switch hitter with the curl knife. What does that do for us? Okay. I think I see what it wanted me to do. I'm gonna reset the room. I gotta come down here first. Then I gotta move the crate. They land on top of each other. I mean, this is at least a puzzle. This is better than the other puzzles that we were dealing with in the other area. No more pick a path, please. I can't tell if that's lined up. I think that is. No wonder why people don't use this area anymore. Like, hold on, you gotta bring the freeze rod and throw some knives at some switches. Imagine going to work here, Chad. This would be a nightmare. Feel very acquired. That was not worth it at all. Green encounter? What's a green encounter? Vacuumon? Are we fighting Digimon? What's with this name? That's an insane amount of damage. Money's not that good. I, mean, I, I suppose at some point they might catch up to low in XP. Maybe. Now we just need to see its evolved form where it suddenly has guns for hands. That's how we know it's a Digimon. Probably a Bashley item. Bashley's defense looking pretty good. I don't know what the green indicator is. Like, should I dodge the green? And I probably want to fight these just to get new ones. We have Cave Taurus. Okay. I think I was using fire on that one. Try this. I really wish we could rename his spells. I'm gonna name more things after the chat. Hopefully, Vicky gets new spells or something later. Yeah, so money wise, not really worth it. Maybe, maybe because the enemies are so weak, they're green in color now? Like, is is that what it's supposed to do? Because I'm surprised they didn't do that earlier. There's a red chest all the way back here, which is ridiculous. And there's a door back here. And another duplicator, so we got our duplicator back. But sadly, duplicator doesn't lead to a treasure room, so they definitely nerfed it compared to the other game. That time I just got ambushed. I mean, I don't think it really matters what they do here. We're gonna eventually learn our lightning spell, and then it's GG from there. And I guess I could just have the others defend so we could get more kills. He has to be pretty close to learning a new spell at this point. He's killed many, many creatures. He only needs to kill 10 to get the first spell. Wow, so if I defend, we literally can't take any damage? That's crazy. More money acquired, whatever. 
That's just, that's just more teleport gem. We're getting teleport gem money, chat. <laughs> Which I'm also sad we don't just have as a spell full time. I guess because they got rid of the ability to use spells outside of combat, you no longer can freely teleport, which does suck, I would just like to state. It's very unfortunate. Okay. So if they're weighed down... Basically, I need something to hold that switch temporarily, so let's move this one. I guess this is a puzzle. We need to lower this briefly so we can get this one. Do we even need to do that? I guess I could do something like this. Assuming this is all it needs me to do. Unless I needed this crate for something else. I don't really get what the point of this switch was. Maybe it's a decoy? Maybe they thought I could move the other one to then raise the platform. Seemed a little unnecessary, but whatever. We're making it through at least. We did it, chat. New territory. You know what the sad part is, chat? You know we're gonna have to name new characters at some point, right? Like, you you know for a fact we haven't seen all the party members. <laughs> so there's a very high chance going to this new town, chat will have to be ready to name something. Most of the enemies here don't really seem worth fighting. I guess I'll get into a fight here just to collect them. Maybe green could also mean that I don't have them in the card collection. So we'll kill a few of these and see what that does to the colors. We know red, red is ambush, white is neutral. We didn't get a surprise attack by taking this, so I don't think it's that. Skipping it doesn't seem to do anything. Goodbye, Albear variant. money total looking like, by the way. We've been slowly gathering money. 141,000? That's okay. How variant? Something like that. And we're gonna be like, whoa, where'd this big city come from? And they're like, they're like it's, it's got giant walls! Meanwhile, our characters are like looking around, like looking under rocks for it. It's like, meanwhile, this is gonna be some like massive ice fortress or some nonsense be like, thanks, protagonist. Oh my gosh, do we actually see a town without searching? Oh, it's a bridge. Oh, we can see bridges, chat. It's confirmed. We can see bridges. Alright, so we probably want to cross the bridge at some point. Or I could try crossing now. I guess it doesn't really matter. I think a bridge is forbidden. Whatever. We cured our blindness. Apparently. It just needs to be so big it spans continents, then we can see it. Okay, so that time we did surprise them. Look at their little goofy pose. Crudely the most threatening of beasts. Worthy of nuking out of oblivion. Uh, so we learned lightning, so that's good. So we have elemental coverage. We'll eventually learn it's AoE, which is more useful in boss fights where we could just become a god. Or a goofy creature. You were you were attacked viciously and mercilessly. It only wanted to be. No items so far, so this is kind of a, a 
Don't give me five Gela. I knew you were gonna do that. I knew you were gonna do that. I even called the amount chat. Like, don't even get me excited. Your rewards are terrible. Hope you enjoyed that hard call out. Like, no thank you. Do not want. I hope it's like level based. Like, why is the amount so low? Couldn't it at least be like 500 or something? It still wouldn't be great, but at least it would be useful. We're exploring around the edges to see if there's any items, but so far we're pretty much itemless. Okay. First item, what's here? Sorcery apple? Oh no. I mean, chat, should I just put everything on, on, um, uh, Filler Boy at this point? I mean, I think we could just make him unkillable with... We have Vitality Apples. I feel like that's probably his only weakness. Give him a little more of those. We'll raise his sorcery too, because it's funny. I still haven't decided who should get the strength up. So far, it doesn't seem to matter. I'll just ignore it for now. So we did find the town. It's surprisingly small. Shed Town, something like that. So, this is Vicky 2's hometown. The town that's inside the force field. How amazing! Yeah. Come on, we have to hurry up and get those tablets analyzed. There's no time to lose. What's wrong? You seem nervous. Why don't you leave the tablets to us and go say hello to everybody? No, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Magic school star pupil. I thought you looked familiar. It's you, Vicky, too. I challenged you to a contest, but you stood me up, you run away. What? I didn't know that, Vicky, too. So, you ran away from home, eh? How shocking. What will people say? <laughs> You've got it all wrong. I didn't run away from home. I'm just wandering the earth. To perfect my fighting skills. You leave home without permission, then it's running away. Well, yeah, but... Alright, that's enough. Don't get into an argument here. Let's see. Excuse me, but I haven't introduced myself yet. <gasps> oh no. Is it coming? <gasps> oh no, chat. Another character. Oh no. Well, at least he had more lines of dialogue than Hello, who, ironically, we put Hello into the party. This character has had literally more of an introduction than Hello did. Jeez, what do we even call this character? I'm, <laughs> I'm having name fatigue. Starman? I'm kind of tempted to just combine his title at this point. I was gonna, I was gonna call him, like, Starro. It's like a DC reference, but... I guess we could, we could go with Starman for now, unless Chad has another name. Starry. Yeah, that's a name. I'll give Chad a moment to think. See his stars for eyes for some reason. You know what's really sad? We could name him Star Pupil, too. This time it does fit. Mm. Okay, so we'll leave it there. I'm assuming Chad has no other names. Indeed it does. Yeah, we got five characters left. So if Chad just wants to call Star Pupil Star Pupil, we can. We can readopt the uh, Shadow Hearts naming thing. That's your name of Star People.
Does chat like that? Do you want to call him Star Pupil? You have the power, chat. Probably go a little further. I'm up for Pupil. Okay, chat, chat's for it. Star Puff? That would be something. Nikki 2 and I were in the same class. We're friends. Uh oh, he was blushing. Friends? Me? Friends with a creep like you? In your dreams? You're just a big jerk. How dare you? You were always so stuck up just because you got good grades. You're always trying to hit on me. Then when I finally get a better test score than you, you challenge me to a spell showdown. Like I said, you're a big jerk. Come on, knock it off. We didn't come here to argue with people. We came here to undo the spell that's protecting the data tablets. We need to see your top scientist. I'm sorry about what happened. I recommend that you go to Mr. McGregor's classroom. Go ahead of you and explain the situation. See you at the classroom later on. My challenge still stands, so don't try to run away, Vicky, too. I was gonna say, can we... Can we have Hello stand in for the magic challenge? Something tells me he might win, chat. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Just gets absolutely nuked. See? He's not really a bad person. A little arrogant, but still. Hmm. We elect Hello as our new champion. I mean, isn't that how that goes in JRPGs? We become the champion of some greater force. Good day. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to sound geeky. Just that we have to say good day at school. It's a rule. We have to say good day instead of hello or whatnot. Oh no, hello's banned here. Truly, this is a heathen, <laughs> heathen filled town. How dare they not say hello? The Lord and Savior, the pillar of this universe. Okay, so we haven't saved in a while. I don't really want to use an in. We're basically at full health anyway. So we could go to the market. They do not speak his name. Or do not dare speak his name. That sounds about right. I don't think I got enough to learn anything new other than, yeah, I'm like one point shy there. I guess in theory I could up her physical defense at some point. Yeah, I could cut FP use by one. I don't know. I'll think about it. Right now, I don't need it. I don't say you have, but they don't last forever, you know. Stock up while you can. Door. Teleport gems. <laughs> right, chat? Teleport. <laughs> okay, we got 99, chat. Forget about magic. Up close combat calls for weapons. Are you guys equipped for it? Um... I guess I could give him more defense if I really want to. I guess I will because it's funny. I'm not going to bother upgrading the other character. I'm sorry, did they call this weapon Gay Parasol? <laughs> just like... <laughs> it just, I'm just kind of perusing the items and I'm like, wait a minute. Um... What, what do you think that was supposed to be? There's no way that's what they meant that to be. It's certainly a choice. Happy, maybe. Oops. Let's sell our junk items. We still have a lot of money. Arm upgrade, I can reload. Let's see what the other weapon is like. I don't want to go too crazy here. Hmm. So it can be just a little better than shot weapon, I guess. I'll give it some upgrades here. I don't think you're intended to just be able to max the damage like we were doing. That's why they want to scale it so heavily. Um, we'll leave it like this for now. So it's still pretty good. 
Alright, so we can create another spell. So let's, I guess, take healthy. Press cap. And multiple Kirk weapons. I think that's the only thing I need. Oh no, teching, pretty much. Holy. Speaking of which, Dad, I'm gonna go respond officially on their forum later today. I thought about it and I'm like, yeah, I think I really do need to say something. I, I don't want them to think that this is a, a, a well-received change. I have to think about how to word it, though. I, I'm less annoyed about it now, but I still want to say something about it. Anyway, we have Carrie in here. It says, how do you do? I'm called Carrie. Eagerly await a report from Mr. Day. Sent off on some crazy... I mean, he's on some assignment. I pity him. Sent by magic to a place that cannot be reached by land or sea. Poor fellow. Good day. Please be quiet while in the library. Let's start reading the books. The book entitled About the Mystic Effect. Do you want to read it? Sure. A sorceress possess a force ability known as Mystic. This is the ability to bring out the hidden power and item and make it more effective. Mystic can be used for healing, such as healing heal berry to heal the entire party. Many other items have hidden powers. Inconceivable ways have this mystic effect, as do sometimes with women. Fine spells. Research is underway to make existing spells even more powerful, such as the back-to-back -back use of spells. The same attribute or opposite attributes, but such techniques are unproven. Combined spells are created by every course rest sorcerer, but their effectiveness has not been proven. Discovered the law governing combined spells would be a major milestone in sorcery history. Every combination of level 1 spells has been tried. The only hope is to revive the ancient level 2 spells and test new combinations with them. Okay, so we'll get that eventually. She took that knife like a champ, it's true. Rare Crests. Press is used by a crest sorcerer during casting his spells. The crest eliminates the need for troublesome rituals such as rolling of magic symbols. Usually one will encounter a highly powerful form of crest craft, the rare crest craft. This item is triple charge as a spell by boosting its impact or making it work on a larger number of targets. To acquire a crest craft, think carefully about what type of crest spell you want to create. Why haven't we received one of those yet? Oh. Are there books on the other shot? Oh no. Okay, so there are different books on the other side. A book entitled All About Monster Dragons? Sure, let's read it. Much of Gilgalad's technology is gleaned from the fossils of monster dragons. Monster dragons are one of Thilgaia's most unusual creatures. They are a fusion of machine and living, breathing flesh. What? The dragon's living component is unlike any other being known to modern science. We have no way of knowing if they are a species native of Thilgaia or a chimera created by sorcery. Oh no, chat. Not, not chimeras. That's, that's gonna provoke the, the flood of Full Metal Alchemist comments. Ancient texts say the dragons possess a strength comparable to that of guardians. Okay, let's read about the ancient race of Crimson Nobles. You wanna read it? Sure. Long ago there was lived a race of beings who were shunned the sun to live in the world of darkness. Yeah, apparently we're gonna get Cyber Dragon. We, we could slowly complete our... I was gonna say pre-5Ds Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere between standard Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess GX or whatever. Get the Cyber Dragon Ducks, it's fun. In Crimson Nobles, these beings were virtually immortal and so were, and were also called the Immortals. The Immortals also said to have ruled the world in their day. Of the most long of species, there are few recorded sightings of the Immortals. It's many to believe believe the immortals to be a legend. I wouldn't be surprised if the other guy we're teamed up with is one of those. Lost Magic of the Ancients. Let's read it. Ancients are said to have used advanced magic far more powerful than those used today. Using ancient texts, some sorcerers attempt to revive this ancient magic. These texts can teach us the full affinity of this. Ancient magic is considered level 2, a higher level than modern magic, which is level 1. Yeah, we need the Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Thank you. Revive this high-level magic would lead to leaps in research on the power of spells. We read about rare crests. What about this side? Teleport orbs. Teleport orb blats indefinitely, unlike a teleport gem. So he takes the user to the place the user visualizes. Oh. We will get one of these eventually. That's fine. It's not perfect. I only transport a user to certain places. This is a town or castle. Another problem with this item is that it sometimes transports the user to the wrong location. The book entitled The Attributes of Magic. Spells commonly known as attack spells often have attributes. The major elemental attributes are earth, water, wind, fire, and lightning. New monsters also have attributes. Some attributes can be weakness. It maximizes damage you can inflict. Use the spell with the same attributes as weakness. 
Matching attributes may also make a spell attack less effective. Your crest sorcerer must master attributes and always consider the weasel spells. I mean, you should know that before you get here. How to release force. Let's read. Demons possess a special ability called force. It's a form of psychic power. Once your force is accumulated to a certain level, you can channel it to special powers. If you're using force, you'll be fatigued. Your remaining FP level may be low. Take heed because you may end up with insufficient force to use your spells for your arm. Force can be a powerful weapon when used at the right time and at the right place. Why is it teaching us now? We're like really deep in the game for this to appear. Gate bridge operation. Let's read it. How to operate the draw bridge. East side, lower, west side raised. The west side of gate bridge is off limits and is enclosed in a chain link fence. Which controls maritime traffic into the Selge Inland Sea. There we go. We got all the lore. Let's continue onwards. I stare into this, I feel like I'm being sucked in. At the same time, it feels so familiar to me. Oh, this... Oh, that's like the same symbol from Wild Arms 1, right? I think so. Normally, it's the teardrop is there. Still more timely than some of the tutorials in this area, that's true. Those, I think, have the honor of the worst tutorials I've ever seen. Outside of, uh, Nino Kune. Nino Kune's tutorials are really bad, and as I said before, Maybe we'll do a spite playthrough of that game. Because the tutorials in it are hilariously terrible. They're, they are so bad, chat. At this school, the magic class is more popular than the science class. I had to take the magic class too, but then my teacher wouldn't have any more students. I didn't let that happen to him, so I'll stay in his class, even though I'm only a student. Oh, hello. Did you come to take my science class? Doesn't matter if you're not one of my students. Oh, I guess I should have been checking for items here. Oops. And I've been checking on occasion. Right, nothing in this room. And they teach how to use healing items for the secret final boss. Yes, they did. Our people said, so thank you so much for watching after Vicky too. She's a lot of trouble, but her sister is the Elniac Witch Girl, so please be patient. The one who botched that experiment is my friend's kid's sister. Have you ever heard of the Elniac Witch Girl? And we'll come here later. Oops. They're in this room and I checked it already. Check the other area. Museum has many interesting things. It's never boring. Be a good place for a date. Girl comes in to visit all the time. It's a promising young girl. Wait, how did I talk to him without facing him? John, I'm actually genuinely impressed I initiated the dialogue like this. Look at where I'm facing. Look where he is. Game, please. I don't want to talk to you right- oh, What are you? Oh, you're that super annoying enemy in Wild Arms 1. The rare enemy. So you want to know what the thing is on the wall over there is? I'll tell you. The skeleton of a dragon, half machine and half living being. These people call them fossils. Extremely rare to find that this one completely intact. No, I want to know about the weird hovering demon thing you have in the middle of your room. I don't care about your fossils. Also parasol for some reason. Yeah, I think that was the one we were farming for duplicators. Ago, I saw a huge flying object. It came from the direction of Mount Chug Chug. It's been one of those relics. Whoever has it doesn't use it for evil. I feel like he's just jinxing it now. A while ago, a female student died during an experiment on a new magic spell. I feel responsible. The accident wasn't the teacher's fault. How does he blame himself like that? here to make sure I didn't miss any items. I feel like we explored the library decently well, but just in case it's like on the bookshelf or something dumb back here. Okay. We don't see anything else we could do, so let's progress the plot a little bit. Got some time.
so our pupil has already briefed me on your situation. Let's get started immediately. An empathite based communicator. You must connect it to a projector. Get one now. I will now explain what I did. I shall endeavor to be brief. All three data tablets were shielded by an amazingly strong protect spell. Impressed even me. This presented a challenge to me as a scientist, for I. Um, you said you'd be brief. Oh yes, you're quite right. Oh, as I was saying. The data tablets contain information about the location of Odessa's hideout. But they are damaged, and a full analysis will take a little longer. As I'd say about one more day should do it. As for Odessa's hideout, it would appear to be located at a massive energy plant. Data in the tablet suggest some sort of high-quality energy refinement operation. But why would they choose a place where they risk being blown to bits in the event of an accident? I believe there is something at the plant that makes it worth the risk. Come to the point, Odessa requires massive amounts of energy. Hmm. This is our chance to finally get the drop on those terrorist pigs. We'll launch a surprise attack and put that plant out of business. Oh, I'm sure... I'm sure nothing will happen to the tablets, and they definitely, totally won't be stolen or anything. Definitely, totally will be in our hands, and nothing will go wrong. Very bold plan, villain. I see. A surprise attack. Finally be able to put them on the defensive. But we have to pinpoint the plan's coordinates first. Yes, well, as I was saying, I'll need one more day. Can't get any additional information out of the tablets without more time. Okay, Mr. McGregor, we're counting on you. Suggest that you get some rest before tomorrow. You've got a long day ahead of you. Or you've got, excuse me. Okay, everyone, get to your quarters. Putting down the energy plant must mean blowing it up. She thinks to herself. If so, I've got just the thing for that. Vicky, too. What do you want? This is too dangerous for you. I think you should drop out. Magic isn't advanced enough. You could get hurt, or worse. Damn. Chat, she's being called out for being the worst party member. I... I don't want to see that happen. You don't have to worry about me. I've done all right so far. I know my grades aren't that hot, but I do well under pressure. Every time I ever got a better test score than you was in an actual spellcasting test, right? But there's a chance you might not make it back. You secretly just stumbled upon Duel Academy, Chad. I... Besides, you wouldn't be able to take out my challenge. Vicky, too, you have to accept that you're not as good as your sister. Damn. Oh, I hate you! Damn, Chad, he, he, so, some, someone put their dump stat and charisma on that one. Ashley, hey, Bashley. What do you want at this time of night? Wanna go on a date to the museum? Is that where this is going? I need you to go somewhere with me. It won't take long. Hey, what gives? This place is really something, hey. It really takes your breath away. I just love this place. The random demon thing in the middle. This is so exciting. Midnight trip to the Museum of Wonders. Of course. Coming here at this time of night reminds me of someone very important to me. My sister and I used to sneak in here all the time. We're always together, my sister and I. I loved her so much. Also, apologies for the flickering. You might want to look away for a bit if that bothers you. What do you mean, loved? I'll let you know when it's over. Love Selge was sure had a bright future ahead of her. But there was an accident. During a magical artifact experiment, she... She... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. When they told me she wouldn't pull through, I was shattered. Never wanted to go through that kind of pain again. I decided never to care for anyone again. Ashley, you won't leave me, will you? Huh? Ashley, I really care for you. 
So don't ever leave me, okay? Of course I won't. Wait, is he responding to this? I'm assuming he was meant to respond to this. I didn't see his name pop up when we did this. I'll do it in his voice. Of course I won't. None of us will. Not me, or Thesaurus, or Hello, or even Villain. You better promise not to, otherwise I'll never be able to care- Oh, maybe it is her again. Never mind. You better- You better promise not to, otherwise I'll never be able to care for anyone again. Promise. After all, you are all important to me too. Okay, so when Villain betrays us, Bashley dies. <laughs> right, Chad? Everybody she knows disappears. Bad ending. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, what? Let me read this statement out to you. Pocus, pocus, the pocus. Blue Donna on point today. Good job, Blue Donna. Huh? <laughs> oh no, chat. Blue Donna's predicting the future. Oh no, they got Blue Donna levels of dialogue. This is not good, chat. It's a charm to give you good luck and to keep a smile on your face. My big sister taught it to me. I want to. I want to be like my sister. I want to create my own charm to make people smile. You could do it. I know you can. Man, it's still flickering this whole time. Thanks for believing in me. Well then, let's get busy. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Where are we going? Do, do you mean let's get going? I'm, I don't. Let's get busy doesn't mean what you think it means. Translators? Question mark. To destroy the that energy plan, I have the perfect item for the job. Hmm. Uh, let me see that for a minute. <laughs> I'm scared, says chat. Maybe. I remember a spell bomb that sends a bomb blast between dimensions. Hey, that's strange. Vicky too. Plan was to blow up the plant, right? Yeah, why? Did you guys have a different plan? Vicky too. Hey, I didn't do anything. I can't find them anywhere. Well then where? The data tablets. <laughs> Come on. This security sucks. Of course they got stolen, chat. Of course. Of course. Chat, we had one job. <laughs> we are so bad at our job. <laughs> Predictable, exactly. Someone stole all three data tablets. I'm so sorry. Elaine. I was briefed on what happened. Only you know who could have pulled off something like this. You know who? How old are you? I need your help. The data tablet's ID pattern was detected moving southwest of Selge. I want you to begin pursuit immediately. To the southwest, you say? Huh. They're gonna go through the gate bridge. This key will get you across the gate bridge. Take it with you. Uh, apparently, it's Voldemort. Bridge key acquired. How did they know we were trying to... Analyze the tablets anyway. Wait a second. Did they even find out we were here? Could someone be feeding them information? No. It couldn't be, we think to ourselves. Also, the flashing is over. Oh, how unfortunate. How will I satisfy my curious curiosity? What is with this phrase, chat? Like, this is really bothering me. Everybody's talking about satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, we'll ignore the scientist talking about satisfying his, um, whatever. Move on. What kind of information... What kind of villain can be leaking information? Yeah. Uh, so, we didn't really explore the town at all. We should probably do that. I'm willing to do maybe one more dungeon, maybe. I want to check what's over here. Oh, that's right, it's just an exit. So we went back here. I hear beeping. <laughs> I just fell into the abyss, cool. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, that's, that, that's something. Just wee, splat. 
There are items here. I just don't see them. There's observatories right ahead. I'm gonna say I want to go there. All right, so we haven't been to the observatory. No items here. Observatory is the pride of self. It's magnificent, yes. Oh, I'm gonna say don't take me back yet. We didn't even explore it. No items in here. Elaine and I studied together. We both used this telescope. Them as a friend, so if there's anything I could do, just let me know. Okay. Commander Villain was immersed in research here for one for a time. Never. Alright, well there's nothing more to do, so we'll just go back down. Well, at least we know this is here for the future, so if they talk about the observatory, know where to go. Oh shit wants a word. Oh, you can walk on this. Uh, serenade acquire. Assuming that's a helmet for the character we're not using. Maybe it is. I prefer not to fall here. The most dangerous treasure chest chat. Chest cap is something you fill with spells. With it, you could cast a spell, but only once. Why are you telling me this? We've had them for hours. And the sky was blue. Back when the sky was blue, who doesn't know magic like you? I'm gonna read that sentence again. Back when the sky was blue, comma, who doesn't know magic, hyphen hyphen like you. What? Are you really gonna make- okay, fine. I will use Puka to get around this idiot. I wanted to just go to the other side, out of habit. That was a statement that he made. Well, I think we probably got something for him then, right? Oh, we got more tanky? Yeah, that's unfair. He's already unkillable. Oh, oh indeed. Uh, so I think we talked about everything here, so we can now safely leave. I got a little bit of time. Let's at least see what the next dungeon is like. I think he was trying to call us out for not knowing magic. I think that was the intent. Where they're like, man, everybody used to know... Like, people didn't used to know magic. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not even going to guess. It was just a mess of a sentence. I guess sick burn. He got me that I don't know magic. Vicky, too. Wait, are you going too? Yeah, but don't worry about me. Worry? I, I wasn't worried, I just... That, uh, bomb thing you have. <laughs> what? Eat my dust? What? Eat my dust? That's oh, oh, that's the name of the bomb. I was like, that was such a, I was like, that was such a random sentence. A spell bomb that sends a bomb blast between dimensions. Don't you remember that from class? I wasn't asking you what it was. I was trying to say that if you get caught with that thing, you'll catch major hell. And don't think I've forgotten about the challenge. You better not get killed out there, because when you get back, we're going head to head. And let me tell you. I will not lose. I don't have time for this now. Catch you later. Eat my dust acquired. There we go. What a weird icon. It almost looks like a person. I guess we'll we'll go across the bridge. We basically just don't want to be in any combat if we can avoid it. Like, if I do this, for example... I wonder if that delays the first time we see an enemy. No, not really. Holy, it's out of control.
Oh, well, I was, I was thinking maybe that would do something, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything to the encounter rate, sadly. Let's use the key. <laughs> Is it Bomberman? Well, we're probably going to use it for evil. We're in Gate Bridge, ter Gate Bridge Territory. It's that vibration. It's not terribly peaceful. Oh no, chat. Woo, a lovely explosion, so boldly large. Ard. 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 From here, we can't cross even if we want to. So smart, and we're so cool. I forgot what voice I gave Liz, to be honest. If we raise the gate, we'll... It'll all be ours. They are super dead against us, by the way, Chad. Say goodbye to these targets. The bridge in front of us is open. Darn. It's one of their tricks. Leave it to me. I'll lower the bridge. has gone up in smoke. Hard. How oh, sneaky. We'll raise it again. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Energy is insufficient. Five minutes until the bridge opens after recharging. Hmm. I don't get it, but it seems everything's okay. Get across the bridge before it reopens again. Oh. Do you have a time limit? It's not great. Wong chat. Okay, at least the timer freezes in battle. That's what I was more curious about. Vicky at 22, nice. Curiosity. A lot of random sentries. So we have to switch here. by accident? Oh, I think I see it now. Oh, I barely see that. That's terrible. So there's like a slight raise on the floor, chat. I didn't see it because I just assumed it was PS1 jank, <laughs> to be honest with you. Really want to fight these enemies. right in front of me as I was cutting across. Unfortunate. Yeah. What the heck are you? Iron Maiden. Okay. I'm 
I'm like, do you know how many times in PS1 games the meshes don't align? <laughs> it's assumed it wasn't properly aligned. They can't do textures. I'm like, don't lie to me. I almost kind of want to fight the angry red one, just to see what this is. See if it's a different enemy or not. Might as well just add it to the BC area. Their little wiggle arms. Play puppets, nice. I took quite a bit of damage there. Okay. Probably when we're done with the bridge, we'll take a break. Not that much money. Not that I'm really surprised. The slide. The slide got me, chat. I'd let go, but not soon enough. Well, on the plus side, Water Gun seems to take care of both of them. See, I'm not really worried about survival at this point. I love that Hello has more HP than Saris still. Hello actually unkillable right now. I guess I could slightly raise the accuracy of the other weapons, but not like a whole lot. Like just enough that I could just use it casually. Like I think the random attack bazooka will be more useful later on. If I, yeah, so when I step on that, I can very easily see that. There we go. I'm gonna walk through. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> it would be the only spot that would catch me. Man, that's just unlucky. Actually, unlucky. Could have gone in any cardinal direction and I would have been fine. Uh, critical should kill here. We're basically just paying for all the teleport gems I bought earlier. At some point, we're going to be doing a lot of backtracking. The question is, when are we going to do that? almost got me. If I tried running there, I think it would have actually caught me. Good, the bridge is still down. Need to blast over it. I've reached such heights, and now there's no stopping me. Ard, Ard! Hey, don't worry, Ard. A gentleman. As gentleman, I know no means no. What? Art? Yeah, I'd art that too. Gentlemen don't like violence, but love the violence of words. Prepare for word torture. I can't keep quiet. Full of dangerous phrases that should be censored. Ard. Ard, Ard. 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 Ah, uh, indeed, Blue Donna. Blue Donna is on point today. What are you saying? You ask what I'm going to do if they don't flinch. That's obvious. I'll hit it and hit until they do as I say. I'll throw off the gentleman disguise. There, the intellectual gangster is over. Darn you, intellectual gangsters. Assuming it just wanted us to go forward. It messed with our camera a little bit. I've been waiting for you all. Ard, Ard! you again, unrepentant fool. Yes, indeed. Hidden powers spreading the terrorist spell Odessa through the land are Liz and Ard. That's us. I'm not anyone suspicious. It's not a hidden sphere, but a sphere of danger, right? What's that? A compliment? 
That sweet smell of danger can't be hidden from us. Ord, Ord. So, what do you want? I wouldn't know. And the brains, Ord's the power. And I'm cool. No matter how you look, we're first rate. You Phil Gaia, you Phil Gaia guys are second rate. We won't get away with just a little burn. We can't back down now either. You're gonna confront us. You have to destroy us. Here it goes. I mean, I kind of just want them to hit us. I guess we'll go with lightning to see how good that is. And I guess I'll use bolt action, which is really powerful. We'll use the cluster bomb. Let's see how much damage this does. We did upgrade its power by quite a bit. Okay. Did a lot of damage. Let's see how much our max damage bolt action does. Pretty good damage. Okay. Red bug liquid chat. There we go. We got some good options. Anti tank punch. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Too bad that's not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. Do another dead shot and then luster? And dead. <laughs> Ooh, the damage. And dead. <laughs> that was fast. 3,500 experience acquired. Nice. Hey, we got some boss weapons. So it doesn't seem to stack up on random hits. But hey, at least we finally have a boss that has more than one target. I can't accept it. Ard, Ard. I gave him a nosebleed, but no friendship developed. My calculations show something vital missing. Could it be poetry? I need you to move. We have no time to play. Ha <laughs> ha After all, we're just discarded horses. Ard, Ard, Ard. Ard, Ard, Ard! My apologies. My apologies for that a little bit. Uh, hey, you're not too bad. This calls for the best of the best. A proud number one since its debut. One look and you'll be going home. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the turtle thing, right? Trask 2.0, Biogenic Dragonoid. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna... Lightning the Crystal. Pitbull action the Crystal. This will hit the different parts. I don't think it will. Oh, it will. No, it will. Okay, we're good. So just in case we don't break it, let's see what happens here. We did average damage. This weakness isn't lightning. Try water next. Looks mechanical. So if this for some reason didn't pop the crystal, I think this will. Link around. We're targeting our tankiest party member. Good luck with that. They almost gave us a super ability there. That would've been good. Let's try... Water on the crystal. We'll go for another shot weapon use. Actually, we'll do ball action again. We're just gonna make sure the crystal pops here while doing some damage to the boss. So just in case the crystal did not pop, we have another attack there. It probably popped just now. Yeah, it looks like it popped already. We did some damage to the boss already. 
mean, Bashley might die here, maybe. Oh, uh, he survived. Uh, is his weakness really Earth? For one more ball action into Bazooka, maybe? He's doing some solid damage here. This is our last damage move we could do on the boss anyway. So if he dies, it's not a big deal. We, we, we use all of our boss ammo up. Oh, boss fight's over. Never mind. Yeah, you know, that's what happens when you got strong weapons, chat. GG. 5,250 XP. That's pretty good. Ashley level, Thesaurus level, Vicky level. Full revive acquired. Okay, so I'm probably gonna stop here at this save point. How wretched. Surprisingly, even the monster regeneration unit responded, as if yielding to a baby. Think it was that? That the regeneration didn't work? You. If only I had Boko Gidon, everyone would be paralyzed. If only it was finished. There's nothing more maddening than to be delayed by hoodlums I only just met. Makes me shake with anger. Ard. Ard. But the legend of us has now just begun. Today's scientific know-how will lead us to the land of promise. While I was waiting for that day to come with great anticipation, we morphed into this new shape. So that's what happened? What are you, an idiot? Something like that could never happen. Probably looked like this since birth. Bluntly put, we're in our birthday suits. Either way, we've managed to successfully delay you, all on a grand scale never seen before. Listen. Thanks. Thanks. Darn. Oh dear indeed. Wow, Bugdana really is on point. Well, it was a rotten trick. We ungrudgingly exposed our brilliance. Finn is probably delighted by this. Me and my image as a youth will never ever be caught. Your last memory in your teens. Let the sight of our departure burn your goggle eyes. Adieu. Just like cutting the tail off a lizard. Rat. More important for us to pursue the Odessa forces than chase those two. I guess I'll try to heal. Can we reach that before we pause? No, I don't think I'll be able to get through this. I guess I can't do anything with this yet? Seems kind of mean to just kind of isolate it. Oh well. I guess eventually that'll open up. Donna switched on today. He's no longer questioning his existence, so that's good. I think we came to a natural break point. Got a little past three hours, which was what the goal was. I think accomplished there. So, I guess how do we feel the session is gone? Well, it did waste our time by making us explore the overworld. There weren't a lot of items we got, but it was nice to hit another bonus dungeon. Uh, clearly the pillar is unkillable. I can't wait till he's able to use his spells consistently. Like his AoE ones. We've seen it's like almost like a 50% more damage bonus. And I'm sure Chad is happy Liz and Ard are back. More specifically Ard. So... I guess we'll go through there. Hello, we trust I'll hail the little pony boy, maybe. I think from that standpoint, we'll check, uh, we'll check around later. I don't know if steel will be useful. I guess we'll find out. Probably not next session, but sometime in the future. I imagine at some point we will need to steal, like, super accessories. 
But I don't think so far, based off the B Siri we saw, we've missed anything interesting. But I guess I could check the B Siri going forward, I suppose. But for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point, the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you again for watching. To see you again in the next part.